Now, when we run any state machine, when we execute it, we need to pass the inputs, right? So, a state machine accepts JSON as the input data. Now, when we pass this input data and then we run the task logic in our lambda function, then the output is generated, which will be going out of that state and either being passed out to another state or you end it with that output. But before you get the output, it will go through several filters. So we have three filters. First one is input path, second is result path and third one is output path. So when we pass input while running execution, what this input part does is it takes the whole JSON and then filters it. So let me try to explain that with a simple example. Let's suppose I have a JSON input which I'm passing to my state machine to execute and I have this state definition defined which will be processing this input. Now here if you notice that I have put three attributes input path result path and output path so using these filters i will be filtering all filtering the json input now notice that in input path i have put dollar dot lambda if i am passing this whole json object if i take the dollar dot lambda then it will be taking only the lambda node of this input and then using it for the state to execute. So my first state will be taking only this node for processing. In result path, if you notice that I have put dollar dot result dot lambda result. So what does result part does is execute the state using this input and whatever the output is generated will be appending that to the dollar so dollar means the whole in JSON object which we received in the state machine. In that the result node and under which I have total node. So in the result node I will be adding a total node which will have the output of that state execution. So if you see here I got added this total attribute which is the total of these two subject numbers. The next attribute what we have is the output path. So in output part what I have put it as a dollar dot result. So even though I have the whole JSON object dollar being tagged as a dollar it will be then passing it as a output but just because I have used the dollar dot result in the output path it will be taking only the result node of that JSON object and that will be our final output from that state we will be getting not the whole JSON object. So I believe this is clear uh, the input and output processing how it works. We talked about uh, the states, we talked about the input and output processing.